witches, witch, witches, wizards, and magical bitches. I don't know, I felt like saying that. Lori Gemini Tarot here. My makeup is shit. But whatever, we are going with it. My makeup is totally James Charles. It is five different skin tones. This is probably gonna be on bad makeup Reddit thread. Please don't come for me. I tried to do a highlighter. I was gonna try, and then like it just turned totally, It just don't come for me today, okay? I am sensitive, okay. So uh, this, sorry I am late for doing this unboxing video. Um, my allergies have been really bad where it's debilitating, where I vomit, I get sick, I get nauseous. Um, and so, uh, I had to take that time off to go to the doctors. I'm going to be seeing an allergist specialist again. So hopefully I'll get back on the right track. Uh, but I needed just to take a couple of days off to recuperate. I couldn't even do a live stream on Instagram. Um, so I am here to do an unboxing and readings for the Haunted Halloween Oracle deck. It is going to be by Midnight Oracle Shop. Uh, in the description box below will be a link to their Etsy account. So you can go ahead and purchase their uh, that deck and many other decks that they have. So here are just an idea of some of the decks that they sell. So, uh, so this is the deck. It just comes into the packaging. I just opened just the top part just briefly, just so you're not watching me struggle 15 minutes because of my weak ass, because I can't fucking open shit. Um, cause I have no body strength in my arms. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. And voila, Mufasa. Okay. So, this is the back of the deck, as you see. And I'm just going to go ahead and just start showing you the cards. After I show you all the cards, I will shuffle it, and then I'll start throwing down readings. Make sure that you comment in the live stream or comment down below if you like the decks if the readings resonates with you. Uh, artists, they do check out these videos and they do like enjoy, they do enjoy hearing feedback and everything like, and they like hearing like, you know, if you do purchase the deck, they like to hear like, they like, they like to know the feedback. Like, uh, how did you hear about our deck? And just let them know like, Lord Jumatero video. So those kind of things, it's like a win-win. You help a small business, you help a small channel like moi. Things like that. The world goes around and 2020 is not so much of a shithole. So, let's go ahead and start going through the cards. So we got Bat. We got Black Cat. Oops. We got Black Rose. So far, I'm liking the deck. I like the pictures. I like the fact that there's a little bit of like a three word kind of description. So, you know, it's nice where you don't have to, uh, we got Book of Shadows, we got Candle Magic. It is kind of nice just so you're not having to like go through a booklet and try to remember, like uh, memorize an entire deck. You know what I mean? Uh, that kind of thing is a little bit helpful for myself. Now we got Carnival Mask. We got Cauldron. We got Cemetery. We got Chalice. We got Coffin. We got Creepy Clown. We got the Crow. We have Crystal Ball. Dagger. Evil Eye. Frog. Full Moon. 
Grim Reaper. Haunted Doll. Haunted Forest. Haunted House. Hellhounds. Release the hounds. Right? Horror. The horror. Right? Jack o' Lantern. Hello, hello, hello. We got Killer. We got Lightning. It was ever so frightening. And everyone grooving. Yeah, so grooving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. We got Magic Mirror. <laughs> I'm just weird. I'm just honestly weird. That's just how I roll. Um, we got Magic Mushrooms. Yas. We got Luna Moth. Luna Moth. Ow. My wife, Eleanor. Ooh, my wife, Eleanor. Ooh, my wife, Eleanor. We got Phantom. Poisoned Apple. Potion. Pumpkin. Skeleton. Snake. 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 Ooh, it's a snake. Right. Spider web. Sorry, I'm not home right now. I'm talking to the spider webs, right? Or are you going to leave a message? And are they going to be calling you back? <laughs> God, spirit. I will find pretty much almost anything and make it into a little weird song or a little weird sketch. Okay, we got sunflower. We got tarot cards. Vampire. Dun, dun, dun. Werewolf, witch, and zombie. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Hey, hey, what's in your hand? Right? So let me go ahead and shuffle the hell out of these cards. And then I'm going to go ahead and just start throwing cards down and just do a reading. So it's going to be a general collective reading. It does not matter if you're in the room currently, if you happen to be watching this much later, if you happen to stumble upon this video, these messages were meant for you. So let me go ahead and mix these cards up for a bit because I do want to break them in, you know, and get my energy. So, so far I like the deck. So far I like the imagery. Um, I do like it simple. Um, I do like the fact that it's simple, but it's not like super basic or anything. I, I really like it. So, um, let's go ahead and just mix all the Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start Throwing down cards. Okay, so we got Magic Mirror. We got Luna Moth. We got Potion. Two more cards. We got Dagger. One more card, and I have Phantom. So the bottom of the deck, the overall energy I have it is going to be Snake, all right? So this is about shedding your skin. Um, a really good Tumblr quote that I saw, uh, it was somebody explaining uh, like the, sci the scientific method about how your body, all your cells, all your cells regenerate, completely regenerate, shed its own skin per se every seven years. So 
this is important for especially people who have been uh, who have dealt with traumas in the past um, where like you're gonna be literally a brand new person within seven years so um, anything about your previous self is completely like brand new and refurbished and I think that is where you need to focus your attention on is releasing and letting shit go because this is about your energy and your energy uh, it, it feels like it's toxic and it's consuming you and you need to release it and you have to do it for your own health and I my personal experience I will say is that um, I have worked in a particular field for many years where this is not tarot, where somebody will dedicate their entire life working for a business, for an organization, um, fighting for a cause, and working a lot of long hours and doing everything and beyond. Um, and they may hate their job and they feel underappreciated and over overutilized, overstretched, you know. And when they finally retire, most of them have terminal illnesses or they die within a few years after they retire. Sometimes it's within a few months. And it's like you work yourself to death. And it comes to a point where it's about quality of life. Do you want to be so angry and bitter and resentful where you just fucking die one day of a heart attack? Um, you like, do you really want to be that person where people no longer want to associate with you know with yourself, like associate yourself with you know associate with you or things of that nature? It just feels like it's a time where you need to let go. Because it feels like you're obsessed with something. It feels like you're obsessed with something. Now, this could be somebody that has done you wrong, that has caused trauma. Uh, this could be just an upbringing, your childhood, your past, whatever it is, it, it, it feels like it's self-destructive behavior because it's very obsessive. It needs to be let go. It needs to be released. So right now, with the magic mirror, you need to focus on self-care. You need to do some shadow work, and you need to do an ego check. You need to do a self-examine. Self, you need to really do an inventory on yourself. And really ask deep questions on why. Like, why am I attracted to to people that are unavailable to me, whether if they're romantic, platonic, whatever it is, you're seeking friendships from people, you're seeking acceptance from a romantic partner, uh, you're trying to fit in, whatever the case may be, you have to ask yourself deep questions on why, like, why am I attracting unavailable people? And, you have to go why well it's because of my upbringing why because my parents neglected me why you have to keep on asking those deep questions and it feels like you're running away from it and it's it's going to be bottling you up and it's going to consume you you need to have faith within yourself you're afraid like you can't deal like the only fear that we have, uh, the only fears that we face is within ourselves. And really we're afraid of, we can accomplish like most goals. You know, most goals can be attainable. It requires a lot of hard work. It requires discipline. It requires dedication. And it could be even, you know, putting other things, you know, on the, as a back burner 
to make sure your goals and objectives are reached, you know? And you just have to have faith in yourself and trust your intuition. Like, you know, deep down, that you need to start doing the work. And when you start doing the work, you start realizing your own power. You start claiming your own power. And you start realizing, you know what? I've always known these red flags were happening. I've always known, uh, I've always had this knack or this keen to understand animals, whatever the case may be. You know, you have these abilities. So the more that you start focusing on yourself, the more you're realizing your own powers, your own abilities, and you're realizing that you're having faith and you start manifesting. You're starting to realize that when you start doing the shadow work, you're gonna have faith in yourself because it is a little scary to dive deep and to realize our flaws, um, things are, are, are faults, you know? And there's going to be things that we realize are mistakes, you know, and you're going to take some sort of accountability. You're going to realize there is a hard, bitter pill, a hard, disgusting cough medicine that you have to stir up, you have to drink it, you know. Um, it's a hard, bitter pill to swallow, it feels like, but it needs to be released. It's this built up pressure. It's a built up pressure and if you don't address the issue, if you don't release it, it's going to blow up and it's going to come to the point where it will affect your health and it will affect your everyday abilities. This is with the dagger here. This is all about cutting ties. You're going to realize that there's going to be a certain social click. This could be a certain environment. This could be a relationship, whether it's romantic or platonic, because it could be a toxic family member, like a parent or a sibling, even out, you know, extended family. It, it could be friendships. It could be work colleagues. It could be a romantic partnership. But you're realizing there's some sort of toxic behavior Things are not being addressed and you're realizing that you're having to start being accountable and you're going to have to address the issue before it's an old yeller situation, you know, and you're just, it, you're just going to call it as it is. I'm kind of getting like a Libra Gemini vibe. Okay. And this is going to happen around Scorpio season. Or if you have Scorpio in your chart, or it could be dealing with a Scorpio. I don't know why there's no cards that indicate that. That's just the energy I'm getting. And Phantom, you need to stop stressing and stop focusing on negative energy because that's what you'll be manifesting. So when you finally realize, because you're going to have to start doing some real shadow work, right? Because you're realizing my health is being affected and I don't understand what's going on with me and once you really start trusting yourself having faith trusting the universe and know what is best for you and you know that all right I need to get out of the sinking ship before I drown <laughs> I sink with the ship you know and you're gonna have to cut ties and you're gonna be questioning yourself on whether if you're making the right choices or not and you are and I will say that the last relationship I was I was in the last relationship, my ex-boyfriend, um, it was a very abusive relationship. He was a narcissist. Um, he had a lot of addictions and um, a lot of issues. And um, I knew I had a lot of visions and dreams that was leading up to this big explosion of like, and I felt like he was gaslighting me to the point where I literally felt like I was going crazy. I was going crazy. And it was affecting my health. You know, it was affecting, like, my mental health. It was affecting my physical health. It was affecting all aspects of my life. It was affecting my, my personal life, my work life, everything. And I realized, you know, like, the mistake was I, there was red flags 
in the very beginning throughout that entire relationship, but I chose to ignore it because I wanted the instant gratification of being happy and being in a relationship or whatnot instead of actually dealing with my problem. And it came to a point where it blew up to very dramatic um, things. And I had to cut the cord. And when I finally stood my ground, that's when that person showed their true colors. And I stood by my ground, we broke up, and I'm very happy that I did that. But I was scared for the first few months. You know, the first few weeks, the first few months. I mean, I knew I made the right decision, but I kept on questioning and doubting myself. And you just need to stop worrying. And it's the time for you to stop focusing on what's going to happen next and start focusing on you. So that is the first reading. So if that resonated, make sure you comment. I enjoy hearing feedback. Now I'm going to go ahead and start throwing more cards. I got Witch. I've got Zombie. I've got Lightning. I've got Tarot Cards. And one more card. <clears throat> I've got Coffin. The bottom, the overall energy I have, it is the Grim Reaper. Right? Um, so, things are ending, all right? Um, and it's going to feel like a shock. It's going to feel like somebody just full on sucker punched you in the gut and you're going to feel shook. You, uh, you're going to feel rustled. Like your jimmies were rustled into a new dimension. It's like the audacity. But it's now something has ended so you know that something new is going to begin. And I think this is a start of a journey for you. This is the, it's in, the chapter is ending between you and this person or you at this company, you with this, it, it, something is ending and you're moving on to something new. This is something that's, you're a little bit scared. Um, so I do have witch here. A lot of you are light workers, spiritual healers, you're empathic, you have these special abilities, and you may not even realize it, okay? And you're starting to trust your gut, and you're realizing that you're, that you're, it feels like you've outgrown something. You've outgrown a social clique. You've outgrown an environment. Maybe you live in a small town and you want to live somewhere that's more progressive. Uh, it feels like you may be in a relationship where you're the one that's pulling all the weight and you may be dealing with somebody that's a bum or somebody that is just unavailable. It, it just feels like you're stagnant. And that's just because with zombie here. And it just feels like you've been trying to manifest and you've been trying to like manifest a new life or a new chapter. And it just feels like you are keep on hitting the reset button, button, like it's not happening for you. And you're actually questioning like, is it ever gonna go anywhere? Like what's the point of doing this? You're, you're actually starting to question yourself. But then out of nowhere, Bam! With lightning, it happens so quick. So it's like, it feels like if you're stagnant and it feels like it's very slow moving, it's like you take two steps forwards and then you take two steps back. We come together because our bits are tracking, you know. And then all of a sudden it moves very quickly. Very, very quickly. You know? And 
it's you know you you're waiting you're waiting for your moment and now it's like do it now you have an opportunity and you need to pounce at it very quickly it feels like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity because this is like lightning strikes like it's kind of like you know you have the chances of being hit by lightning like what like seven times or whatever before you win a lottery or some shit like that right it feels like this is a once in a lifetime golden opportunity like you've got the golden ticket like i got the golden ticket you have this golden ticket and you need to fucking pounce on it now tarot cards there's going to be some sort of there's your you have this opportunity you're not sure what to do with it so it feels like you're going to get some sort of tarot reading you need some sort of clarification and it's going to provide you whether if you're going to be doing a tarot reading on yourself or whether if you hire a tarot reader and if you are interested in hiring me in the description box below be uh, below purchasing the midnight sh uh, midnight oracle shop etsy account will be a link to my instagram account you can dm me directly to purchase a tarot reading my pricing is on my pages there as well um, if you like to go through me, you don't have to, there's no pressure, boo. Um, it feels like there's going to be some sort of guidance that you need. You need, whether some sort of reassurance, there's going to be some sort of clarity or answer that you need. It's going to be the key to kind of like, now it all makes sense. And now you're realizing that something has to end in order for you to have your new beginning. So it feels like you know that you can manifest great things and it feels like something is holding you back. You feel very stagnant. All of a sudden an opportunity comes very quickly to you. And so you get a tarot reading, you get clarification on it and you get the answers that you need. And now you're gonna finally nail the coffin, the last nail on the coffin. I want to go ahead and give you one more reading. I want to go ahead and give you one more reading. Okay, let me go ahead and give you one more reading. And I thought I saw a card pop up. And I'm sure it will pop up. Okay, so. Yeah, I did see it. See, I'm not going crazy. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do one more reading, and then I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. And if these readings resonated with you, if you enjoy the deck, please make sure that you comment down below. Um, I know the artists, they do enjoy hearing feedback. <clears throat> Excuse me, my allergies have been not cooperating, so I'm going to go ahead and do one more reading. Hold on, let me go ahead and mix these cards up a bit. again I have phantom Alrighty then we meet again I have a sunflower this card really wanted to pop up okay those are way too many cards okay this card really wants to pop out I've got candle magic followed by zombie now, the bottom of the deck, the overall vibe, I've got Luna Moth here. So, you need to have faith. Uh, trust your intuition. Trust your gut. Your ancestors have been communicating with you. You know you're on the right path. So, just have faith in yourself. Just take a little break, right? Just take a little break. The universe has your back. <clears throat> okay so i see strong light workers spiritual healers tarot readers astrologers life coaches um these are people that are empathic this is somebody who is very spiritual 
and you have, uh, you're able to like astral project, you're able to communicate with the universe with your ancestors. Um, you know exactly what the fuck's up, Buttercup. Because you're so in touch with the universe, you know what the fuck's up, Buttercup. You stress the fuck out. Because you realize that the planet's dying and that the world is imploding, it's falling apart, climate change, Trump, ice capades, you name it, right? You name it. So there's a lot of things and it's stressing you the fuck out and you honestly need to stop because the overall energy is besides you being a, like a, a psycho, like you're a wizard Harry. besides that, is that you need to rest. Um, you need to rest. So I am seeing a lot of success here. You're getting a lot of attention. This would be for me, it's like the six of wands energy. This is you being a celebrity, you getting a lot of clout, you getting a lot of recognition. Bit, lots, lots of reward, praises, compliments. You're just very happy because you know that you're a very strong psychic and all your hard work and your dedication. Um, and it feels like you worry, you're afraid, um, like you're gonna fuck up. It feels like um, we've all have fucked up in our lives. We all have done things that we're not proud of. Um, but those things don't define who you are. They happen to be a chapter in your life. And it feels like you may be worrying that it will, like, you, you're going to go back to that. And I want to say, I don't think that is going to be the case. Um, <clears throat> I will say... If you don't take the time to take breaks, you can burn yourself out and it could lead to that, okay? So there's nothing wrong with taking a few days break, taking a week or so break to recoup, to get your strength back. I have to do that often and I've learned that when I start feeling it, I just allow myself to take like a social media hiatus, don't post, don't upload, things of that nature. Um, I find it's a lot better. Like, my readings are a lot better. You know, just physically, mentally, spiritually, just regrouping helps a lot. And it feels like you've just always been on a go-go gadget mode. And I think it's time that you take a little break. Because you should be able to celebrate. Like, you know what? I've been, I'm very successful. Like, let me take a time to go on a little vacay. Let me take the time to take a little break and spend quality time with family, regroup, do what I need to do, regain my energy, because I do see that you can burn yourself out. This is you manifesting. You are very successful and you are gonna get a lot of followers, you're gonna get a lot of subscribers, you're gonna get a lot of business um, because you've been manifesting this. You've been manifesting this. And it feels like a lot of you have just been worried about, I don't know if I'm gonna get the subscribers. I don't know if I'm if I'm gonna get the like get the praise and the recognition um, that I desire because I know that I'm 100% that witch. You see what I did there? You see what I did there? Um, so you are, this is you like one-on-one -on -one manifesting like a motherfucker and you're gonna get exactly what you want, but you have to realize that you're gonna get everything what you want but you're gonna feel stuck, okay? Um, it feels like you're not, you're, you're, you're worrying that you're not moving fast enough or you're not getting the success that you think you deserve or in a timely matter. And you gotta realize is that you can't be on, you can't focus on other people's timelines. You know what I mean? Like there are certain people that will start, you know, start their social media platform and sometimes they can be like, famous almost instantly. It feels like they can barely start the platform and they start instantly. Or um, you, you know, and it feels like for others where it's just, 
uh, like, I think for PewDiePie, it took him like seven years in order for him to have the platform that he has right now. But that took many, many years of doing this, of dedication, you know? So it, it feels like you, you definitely are very powerful. You have the ability, it feels like you need to stop focusing on other people's timelines. Um, you can't focus on other people's timelines on when you're going to be successful, when you're going to when you're going to find the right partner, when you're going to be settling down and having kids, when you're going to have that business that you've always wanted. You know, you can't be looking at others and envying them. You have to focus on what you have because there's always somebody that's focusing. Um, like for an example, I have a friend that you know she's you know she's focused on like oh I wish that I have what you have in a relationship but it's like you know that took me a very long time to find a very healthy relationship like I had to take you know over a year and a half to take that time and some people take longer time to take off hell I know a bitch that is is like it's almost 10 years but like I know somebody that took them ten, over 10 years before they dated somebody again you know um I know quite a few people that way. You know, they have not been intimate, been with anybody, hooked up with anybody, nothing. Because that first person burnt them, like that person burned them so badly. And it took them that, so you can't focus on other people's timeline on when that's gonna be for me because when the timeline is right for you, those people, they may be going through rough patches. Um, and there's always somebody that's gonna be focused on, you know? Where she was just like, you know, I wish I had the relationship where you have when you're single. But I'm like, yeah, but you have a very successful, you know, social media platform. You know, like, I wish I had the subscribers and followers that you do. Like, I wish I had that thing. I don't. And I'm not sitting there like, oh, like, you know what I mean? It's not about that. It's just like, you have to, I'm very grateful for the things that I have. And you need to start focusing on the things that you're grateful for. Because... You don't realize uh, people are so fixated on what more like somebody that's like seems like what you're focusing more on what what they have what you don't and you should be focusing more on what other people don't have that you do that you should be grateful for it's just something to think about and um, Actually, it was a Peter Mon. It was like a Peterism video that I saw today, and it actually like something really clicked. And I know people say this a lot, but something it's how he worded it and how he said it. It really clicked for me, where it's like, okay, you want to manifest a new life, you want to manifest a new life, you want to manifest like the great relationship, you want to manifest a great um, like the big house. You know, maybe you want to be a certain size, maybe you want to have to have like a certain look, whatever, whatever you're trying to manifest, whatever it's superficial or not it's completely up to you there's no judgment or hate hate here you want those things but if you want good things to happen in your life you have to wish that for everybody and that's including your enemies frenemies people that you're indifferent people that you don't even like at all uh you have to wish that for everybody so you can't be like you know what that person needs to jump in front of a fucking bus because they did me wrong but you know what I want this great life because you know what you're holding yourself back you're holding yourself back that anger that resentment uh, that is holding you back from moving on and it's not that you have to forgive them you're for, you're not forgiving them like for their crimes and their actions you have to for you have to forgive and let go you have to let it go and it doesn't mean that you guys are gonna be good fucking duties you know what I mean like Peter Mon would say you know, it's not like you're going to be good Judy's, but you have to let go for your own sanity and you, you know what I mean? It's like even my worst enemies, like even my worst enemies, I don't wish like, I don't wish them like pain or resentment or anything. I want them to heal. I want them to grow. I want them to have happiness in their life, you know? And I have to wish that for them in order for me to have that, you know? And that's what you need to do. 
So there you have it. If you enjoyed the deck, in the description box below will be a link to the Midnight Oracle shop on their Etsy account. And below that will be a link to my Instagram account. So you can check out my pricing and you can DM me directly to book a tarot reading. You notice how the lighting where I went somewhat like now, now and I went more tan? Like, I swear to God, I'm like James Charles. I have like five skin, different skin tones. I can never match. Like my foundation can never fucking match. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully these readings resonated with you. Hopefully you enjoyed the decks. Thank you. I love you guys. Please be safe and nanu nanu.